Hello, hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> good evening, teacher. Hi. The vacation long. You are on vacation? Yes. Oh man, good for you. Good Thank for you. you. Two weeks. Uh uh, one, uh, one week. One week vacation. One week vacation. Hey, good, good, good for you. Thank you. How was your good weekend, evening. class? <clears throat> good evening. How, how was your weekend? Everything good? Everything good. Kind of tired only. Why? What, what did you do, Roberto? Well, I had work on Saturday, and I had a lot of things to do on on Sunday. So that's pretty much. I had a busy weekend. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Busy is good. And what about you, Gustavo? Did you go to San Miguel? Yes, I went to San Miguel. And everything all right? Everything okay. How is San Miguel? Cold? A little cold. No. -uh. Yeah. Incredible, people, but yeah. People using sweaters? Using sweater. At night using double towels. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. And around I 13 grades. <laughs> All right, Alba, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Hello. Well, <laughs> hi, everyone. Um, well, my weekend was, um, I think it was nice because I spent time with my Little girl, Meredith, okay. and my sister. We watched uh, some series, TV shows, no? and some movies. So on Sunday, we uh, we were or we wo woke up late <laughs> on Sunday. Okay. So hey, in the nice. afternoon, we went to outside. That's a perfect weekend for me. Yes, <laughs> definitely, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are my son's toys. Really? Yes. <laughs> he likes things like Dracula and just like his father. Ah, that's why. Yes. Evelyn, how was your weekend? Hi, good evening. Good evening. It was, it was good. I, I didn't go to Zambia. And I stayed at home on Saturday. And yesterday, I took my lunch for all the weekend. The week, perdón. Oh, really? You cook for the whole week? Yes. Hey, that's good. I cook for the whole week. And the afternoon, I went to the beach to watch or see. I don't know. To see the sunset. I don't know. See, watch, or look? Um, maybe see. Maybe see, yes. <laughs> or maybe, no, you know, actually the correct is look. You want to look at the sunset. I want to look at the sunset. Because you look, and remember, you look at things that don't do an action. You look at the mountains, you look at the flowers, you look at the paintings. So you look at a beautiful sunset. Yes. All right. Melissa. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? 
I'm fine. Thanks. Thank you. I'm okay. Thank you. How was your weekend? It was nice. I watched movies all weekend with my husband and my son in Netflix. All right. Good. Did you watch and Luis Miguel? Hamburger and pupusas. <laughs> no, I don't like it. You don't like Luis Miguel? No. Good for you. No, he's, for me, he's ugly. Okay. No, but what about the music? Uh, no. The unconditional. <laughs> yeah. Maybe with <laughs> five, <laughs> five or ten beers, his music is good. <laughs> After 10 beers, you're like, wow, that's good. <laughs> no. But Maribel, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How was your weekend? Um yesterday I, I was uh, in Apopa at oh. As uh, house, my brother. Okay, good. Uh, so my, I was in my brother's house. Okay. And in my family, in the party. Oh, there was a party. Nice. Cool. Uh, my my nice nice. Is it sobrina, verdad? Yeah, my niece' birthday. My niece. Yeah. Very nice, good for you, family party, nice. What about you, Norma, how was your weekend? Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Wow, well, your microphone is strong. <laughs> how was your weekend? Oh, really? No, no, but it's good, it's good. How was your weekend? Uh, good. Uh, fine, I restart. Um, I, I was to the um, church. Yesterday, I went to the park. I went to the park. I went to the church. Church. Oh, in oh, okay, church. Uh, what park did you go to? The part of my uh, neighbor. Oh, okay. My neighbor. Mm -hmm. See. Yes. Yes. Only that. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, cool, nice, very good, very good. What about you? Who is Kevin Hernandez? Hello, Kevin. Kevin, are you there? Hello. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, thank you. What is that picture on your on your um, status? Hello, Kevin. Okay, Roxana. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Roxana? I am fine, and you? I'm pretty good, thank you for asking. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was uh, very tired because I was working in my entrepreneurship. Oh, wow, okay. And yes, and what, I- What did you do? Yearly uh, imitation. Okay. Is, uh -huh. is, and, and that is, go ahead, please. Solo quería confirmar si eso era bisutería. Oh, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, okay. And also, I, I study, studied because I am finished the university and you're, I... You're finishing the university. In the university, yes. Uh, because the... End of this month, I will have my defense. Uh -huh. 
I'm only. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, well, class, let's start. <clears throat> Remember last week? What did we do last week? We learned in, on, at, in time, and in place. Place. It was very interesting, correct? Yes. Well, let's continue with, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Thank you, yes. all right. So now we are here, lesson objective. In this class, you will notice the stress patterns in requests with two-part verbs. En esta clase haremos el énfasis en los patrones de fuerza de voz en peticiones con verbos compuestos. I don't like Spanish accent. Do you like Spanish accent? Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. I hate it. Very nice. I think it's very <laughs> sexy. Really? Yes. Oh. My my grandparents, they were Spanish, and I remember they I I I I remember them very little. My grandparents, but I remember their Spanish was Siempre pensé que eran enojados. But no, that's normal. <laughs> but like Casa de Papel, do you like that accent? Do you watch Casa de Papel? No, I watch yes. it online. That's a very good show. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. In December is the end, correct? The last one. Yes. Okay. Do you see? Do you see the lady on the screen? Yes. All right. Let's watch the video. Hi again. Remember, not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two-part verbs. Listen, in conclusion, stress is, no dice la palabra, stress. Entonación. Yes. There's a difference. Um, remember your mother, David, turn down the volume. Bajale el volumen. No, your mother was not like that. Your mother was, David, turn down the volume. Remember when you put music very loud? You know, that's stress. Like, um, uh, let me see, let me see. Alba, you have children, right? Yes, I have. Do you tell, I, yeah. I, imagine, I imagine at the beginning you say, baby, please pick up the toys. Five minutes later, pick up the toys. Three minutes later, pick up the toys. And then, hey, pick up the toys. <laughs> and, <laughs> right? So that's that's the stress. It's the, like um, yeah, Daniel yeah. said, entonación. Yeah. All right? And not only in that, it's in every word. In, in, in Not only in a phrasal verb. It can be in, hi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You know, it's it's where you make the emphasis. It's similar in Spanish. Okay. Do you understand? 
Yes. yes. All right, yeah. cool. No problem. So that was easy. So here, um, participants will practice making requests using modals. Oh, can, could, would, et, would you mind, gerunds? Let's do this. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure, model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, um, class, can you excuse me one minute? Okay. It's okay, today. give me, I'll be one, I'll be right back. Please hold on. Okay.
Okay, thank you. Okay, so look, remember, remember that, um, do you see my screen? Yes. Let me share again. Remember when I taught you the difference between in, on, and at in two forms, in time, and in place? Yes. Yes. Today, I'm going to teach you the modals in the two forms. Number one is can. I think we did this once last month. What is can? Ability. Good. Remember last week, last month? Yes. Can is an ability. Yes, I can, or no, I can't. Alba, can you drive? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Le estoy preguntando si puede, no si lo hace, right? Remember, eso es can. All right? Porque hay gente que quizás no tiene un carro, entonces dice, no, no, es que no estoy preguntando si tiene carro. No, es, puede manejar? Yes or no? Yes, I can. All right, good. Maribel, can you swim? Oh, yeah, I remember you can swim. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Gustavo Coreas, can you smoke? Oh, I can't. Okay, good. You can't. You never, nunca lo intentaste? Yes, I tried, but it's, it's not good. Okay, good, but that's not my question. No, no, no. Uh, yes, I tried, but. Oh, okay, good. So you, you, in this case, you say, yes, I can smoke, but I don't. Okay. Okay. Me too, in my case, yes, I can smoke, but I don't. I hate it. Yes. But, but I, I can't. I don't know what, yeah. Yeah, but if you give me a cigarette, I, 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 no, yeah, I, no, I know, I know how to smoke, but people that can't smoke is like. But that is my case. Okay, so in this case, you can't smoke. Yes. All right, good. Ma, um, blah, blah. Melissa, are you there? Yes, I am. Melissa, can you dance? Yes, I can. I guess. <laughs> I guess. All right, good. So that is can, right? Can is an ability. Next is could. Do you remember what is could? Possibility. Pass out of the can. Yes, it's the past of can. For example, in this moment, oh, I'm sorry, Alexander can. What is the, the negative of can? Can't. 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 Okay. Can't. Okay, good. In this moment, I can't eat or pupusas. I can't. But when I was 20, I could eat 10. Do you understand what is could? Yes. Yes. Could is the same thing as yes. can, but it's only in the past. Something you could do and now you can't. Okay. Uh, let me see. Norma. Hi. Hi, Norma. Do you happen to know somebody se llama Ariel? Ariel is a um, sirenita. Uh, no, 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 así se llama el Ariel. Ajá, la sirenita. No, es un muchacho, así se llama Ariel. <laughs> ok. <laughs> no, es que le pregunto porque es, es, es el mismo apellido, Nataren, y, y solo a ustedes se lo había oído. Es un amigo mío, se llama no, Ariel. Really? Ariel Nataren, ajá. No, quizás es mi familia. Ah, oh, ok. 
Es como mi apellido, sí, Baltrons. Somos pocos los Natarenos. Sí, es como mi apellido, Baltrons. ¿Cuál? Si no, Baltrons. Si alguien es Baltrons, es my family. Yeah. Y Nataren nunca lo había oído, no, solo a él. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. ¿De dónde es? Uh -huh. ¿Es qué? Bueno. Ariel, ¿de dónde es? No, no es de acá. Vive en Soya Bronx. Okay. Teacher. Yep. Yes, Carlos. Uh, um, cool. And you can use when you when you want to give a uh, for life equation. Yes, but I will get to that right now. Ya, ya vamos a explicar eso. Okay. So, cool. oh, so back to you, Norma. Um, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you remember when you were single? Yes, I remember. When you were <laughs> single, when you were 15. Do you remember when you were 15? Yes, I remember. Could you, could you dance when you were 15? Oh, oh no. Could you drink liquor when you were 15? No, right. No, no, I could not. No, I couldn't. Okay, no, I could not. I could. Now you can. No, I could not. Now you can if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Could is the past of can. Mm -hmm. Next, we have will. What is will, remember? Future. Future. ¿Se acuerdan que les expliqué una vez qué es, qué prácticamente es will en español? Compromiso. Un compromiso, ¿eh? que hace el verbo terminar en hará o eré. Remember, I will eat, yo comeré. I will go. Yo iré. Yo iré. Yo iré. Mm -hmm. That is will. And next we have would you. I'm sorry, next we have would. What is would? Debería. Exactly. Uh -huh. Would in Spanish is ia. It's a condition. Yo iría si no fuera tan peligroso. I would go if, there's a condition, if. If. The first condition. Yeah, imagine Carlos or, um, Carlos? Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I have. Okay. Gustavo, do you have a girlfriend in San Salvador? In San Salvador, no. And in San Miguel? Yes. Okay, you need one in San Salvador, so you can have two. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, <laughs> look at Evelyn. <clears throat> so, imagine you meet a girl in San Salvador, but she lives in La Campanera. Um, so, you say... Okay. Um, I would visit you if, <laughs> if you didn't live in La Campanera. Okay. It's too dangerous. That is would, it's a condition. Yes, yo te visitaría si no vivieras ahí. Yes? Yes. So do we understand would? Yes. All right. So, poca palabras, what is can? Hacerlo, poder. Ability. Habilidad. Si puedo, no puedo. Yes, I can, no, I can't. What is good? The past of can. Pasado of can. can. What is will? 
Compromise. A compromise. Very good. Thank you. And would? Yeah. Yeah. It's a condition. Condition. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very happy you, you remember. Okay. Now, that is one form. The second form is permission. Can I, could I, will I, would I, is permission. Puedo ir, podría ir, iría si me dejas. For everything, for everything you want, uh, here's your answer, Carlos. The second form is, this are social to ask for permission. Did you see me? I knocked on the door and say, hi, can I come in? Could I come in? Would I come in? <laughs> Will I come in? Okay, so you can you can use all for, for permission. There's one special with wood. Would you mind if? What is would you mind if? So imagine I go to your house to visit you. And I say, hi, um, for example, Evelyn, I, I'm going to visit you. And I say, imagine I am inside your house. And I say, hi, Evelyn, would you mind if I smoke? Yes, I will. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, good. Excellent. Very good, Evelyn. Ah, pero si fuera el jefe, el presidente de la empresa, would you mind if I smoke? Oh, please, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, that is that is would you mind. Esto pasa mucho en los trabajos. Sí, porque nosotros pasamos quizás el 70% del día en el trabajo. Y a veces alguien está hablando demasiado fuerte. O tiene mucho volumen en algo o algo. Y una forma muy, muy eh, educada para pedirle eso. Would you mind? Would you mind if you turn down the volume, please? O mujeres están oyendo hombres haciendo chistes sexuales. O viceversa, hombres están escuchando a mujeres hacer chistes sexuales. Les, van a decir, les tienen que decir, excuse me, would you mind not talking about sex? Or women, you say, excuse me, would you mind shutting up? Would you mind shut up? No. Entonces, so that, that's the question. So to ask polite, can I, could I, will I, would I? Pero saben cuál es el... Sí, saben que es un geek. No. No teacher. Okay. Not everything. Un, no, no idea. No teacher. Okay, un geek es un nerdo. Ya. Yeah. Entonces siempre va a haber un geek. Oops. Por ejemplo, geek es, alguien dijo que lo sabe todo de ese tema, pero geek es como nerd. <laughs> como Big Bang Theory. Do you watch Big Bang Theory? Sheldon. Yeah, that's a cool show. So, Imagine uh, I have a friend, he is a Star Wars geek.
What do you understand by that? He knows a lot of a lot about Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars, o sea, Star Wars is his life. Yo, okay. Incluso se casó y ese fue el tema de su boda, man. Pues, Crazy. Yes. Así entraron al hotel. Ton, ton, toron, ton, toron, ton. Nice. Darth Vader. <laughs> y sabes que lo enojé tanto, tanto por una foto que me tomé. Porque me tomé una foto a la par de Citripio. Y sabes cómo le hice en la foto. Do you know what this is? No. Esto es Star Trek. Es viaje, viaje a las estrellas, que es la competencia de Star Wars. Entonces le dice así. ¿Y cómo es posible arruinaste mi foto con Tricipio? Bueno, anyways. Geek es un nerdo. So... Alguna vez en la vida van a encontrar un grammar geek. ¿Saben qué es un grammar geek? No te chero. Está aquí en la, la, la ¿Las lógica. Reglas de la Gram escritura, ¿no? ¿Qué es un geek? ¿Qué es un geek? Nerd. Ah, entonces un grammar geek, geek ¿qué es? Un nerdo de la gramática. Ajá, son de esos que cada rato anda corrigiendo a uno. ¿Ya? Entonces algún día uno va a decir, excuse me, can I go to the bathroom? Le va a decir, I don't know. ¿Por qué? Porque él sabe que can es una habilidad. Y ustedes están diciendo, ¿puedo ir al baño? No sé, tengo que ver si puedes ir o no. You understand? Siempre va a haber una persona estúpida prácticamente que le va a decir eso. Por eso es que realmente yo les recomiendo que en vez de usar todo eso, usen may. May I. May is directly for permission. The same meaning. Excuse me? The same meaning? The same meaning, yes. Okay. But may, may is only for permission. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and that happened to me one time. I remember I had a teacher. Le dije, Miss, can I go to the bathroom? And she says, I don't know. I said, yes or no? I don't know, David. Miss. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Can I go? I don't know. Quería ser chistosa. Yo no había captado. Can you or may you? Oh, okay. May I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may. Ya cuando regresé, ella me explicó por qué era may, no can. Oh, okay, thank you. Pero lo que les digo, alguna vez van a conocer algún tipo de geek. For example, me, I am a Tarantino geek. Do you know Tarantino? What is your favorite is from Tarantino? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Uh, I am a Tarantino geek. That means I am an extremely big fanatic of Tarantino. Oh, and The Simpsons. I am a Simpson geek. And Barcelona geek. All right. Nice. Eso significa que uno sabe si es posible o sabe todo del tema. Eso es un geek. Are you a geek? No, I geek. Hey, for example, do you know Mr. Chip? Yes. Matt, no. okay. He's a geek. He's a. Uh... I think the biggest geeks. He is. He. I think he is a computer. He. He remember everything about the match. Yeah, Mr. Chip. He's commentarista de football, right? 
¿De dónde es Gustavo él? From Spain. From Spain, huh? Uh, yeah, Spain, but I know the, 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 the exactly. Okay, pero si usted dice, hey, ¿quién quedó campeón en, en Argentina en el 49? Pum, he knows. Y en Brasil, 95, ¿quién quedó campeón? He knows. Mm -hmm. El Salvador, ¿quién fue campeón? Yeah. Score the most goals. He is, he is a human computer, man. Like, y, y así, ya lo han entrevistado en vivo y le hacen una pregunta imposible, la sabe, pero de fútbol, obviamente. He is a soccer there is another, There is another one in Spain. In Spain and it's calling Maldini. Marini too, yes. Yeah. Man, they, they are amazing. Y saben, ¿quién ganó el Salvador el año pasado? Ganó la Alianza, jugaron el Coliseo Montserrat y no sé qué, quedaron dos a uno contra el FAS. Se fueron extra tiempo. He is crazy. Okay, so do we understand the difference? Can I, could I, will I, would I? I recommend you, mejor usen, may I. Teacher, I have a silly question. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. What is the next form of may? May not. How do you say no? Oh, is the it? answer, the answer is, okay, for example, Evelyn, may I smoke? You say, yes, you may, or no, you may not. Very good. I didn't exist in mayn't. There's no contraction. Thank you for that question. Thank you. There is no contraction for may not. Okay. Thank you. All right. Next. Do, do, do. do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, good. So oh, let me see. Daniel. Aquí solo le voy a decir que climb significa escalar. Entonces, ¿cuál es el que va aquí, Daniel? When I was 10, I, was right? 10, I wait, hold on, Daniel. When I was 10, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Daniel Paliazos. I'm, I'm oh, sorry, okay, okay. Da, not Daniel Huayua. Okay, okay. you, you are Daniel Huayua. Bueno, bueno. And thank okay, you, I'm sorry. No you're next, you're next, you're next. Okay, so Daniel Palacios. When I was 10, I could. <laughs> Change, change. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so finish it, Daniel, for me, please. When I was 10. Uh, yes. <laughs> when I was 10, I would clean. No, it's I could. I could. Cool. Why could? Why could? Because Why I am. Could? Why could? Because I am speaking past. So ah, okay. So remember, yeah. could is the past of can. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Uh, now let me see, Daniel Huayua. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Daniel Fayua. <laughs> mm -hmm. Está Daniel Fayu y Daniel Fayas. Palacio, yeah. Palace. If I had a million dollars. Lo donaría a los ex diputados porque pobrecitos dicen que nunca robaron y 
<laughs> you know, Sunday, Sunday, yesterday, I, I went to Olocuilta. And um, we were in a small pupuseria. Y ahí está, llegó. A que le decían Umpa Lumpa. What is his name? El ex diputado de, de Arena. Emilio Correas. Llegó a comer con, con los papás, pero yo lo vi y me quedé. Y pasó una viejita a, a pedir dinero y yo le di. Tenga señora, tengan cuidado que no se lo roben, ¿ok? Para que oyera. ¿sí? Pobrecito la vida de ellos porque todo lo que pasaron. Miren, le silbaron la vieja. Como diez, pero, o sea, qué feo verlo él comer con su familia y bueno, pero eso lo buscó. Ellos se lo han buscado, la verdad. ¿sí? Pero sí dio lástima, man. No quisiera tener esa vida. Ya me imagino andar con mi hijo y que todos me odien. So, se lo donaría a Emilio Correas. No. If I had a million dollars, I... I could... Oh. Ah, bye. If I had a million dollars, I, I could buy a big house. What is the past of cancer? So it's not possible. I, if I had a. Aquí está, a aquí, aquí está, aquí está todo. If, if. Remember, that's a condition, like. If I had a million dollars, well, I don't remember, teacher. Whoa. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. I would. I would buy a big house. I would buy a big, mm -hmm. house, big house. Why would? Por qué would? Debería. No. Compraría. Ajá, IA, es IA. Podría comprar una gran casa. Compraría. I would buy. Remember, would in Spanish es el verbo IA. Pensemos en español. Yo compraría una gran casa si tuviera el dinero. Termina la oración. Si me ganara la lotería, yo iría a Europa. Si yo me ganara la lotería, yo mandaría a mi esposa a Afganistán de vacaciones. Sola, tres meses. No trabajaría. Afganistán, Irán y Siria. Sí. Enjoy, baby. <laughs> If I had a million dollars. No. ¿Se acuerdan cuando, cuando ustedes le pedían algo a su mamá? Mamá, comprame tal cosa. Vale, te lo compro, sí, te saca buenas notas. Remember que le decían así, te lo voy a comprar. Si comes, vamos a ir. Sí. Those are conditions. En inglés es el if. And you need wood. Entonces hagamos eso en inglés. Mom, can I have a new toy? Yes. If you eat your food. I would buy you a toy. Yeah. So, Mr. Huayua, in this case, is a condition, which is also a probability. So, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a big house. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. Pero en Salvador, muchos, if I had a million dollars, I would buy 100 iPhones, did you? Okay, let me see. Giovanni, how are you, sir? Giovanni Garcia. Oh, you can't hear me? 
I can't hear you. Hello. Okay, hi. Okay, um, oh, hi. we're going to do something different. Uh, the no, first no, no. is a uh, is a condition. No, well, no, wait. Yeah. Okay. Wait. 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 Hold on. Okay, Giovanni, do you see this? Yes, I would mind if you smoke inside. What is the question? I can watch the, the screen. Give me a moment, please. Oh, okay. Eh, curiosidad, todos si sí pueden ver mi pregunta, ¿verdad? Your answer? My, my question, yeah. Yes, sure. Okay, okay, so. Listen to this, listen to this. Did you hear that? Okay, Giovanni, did you see it? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Okay, what does that say, Giovanni? What do you read? In this case, yes, I would mind if you smoke inside. Okay, so it's an answer. Giovanni, give me the question. Would you mind if you smoke inside? You are maybe 95% correct. Ask me the question. Would, would you mind smoke inside? Would you mind is correct. Would you mind if is correct. Ahí estamos mal. Would you mind if? If, if, would you mind if smoke inside? Okay, listen, te voy a responder, Giovanni. Yes, I would mind if you smoke inside, Giovanni. So what do you think is the question? Would you mind if I smoke inside? Exactly, very good, yes. Would you mind if I smoke inside? I said, yes, I wouldn't mind if you smoke inside. Please don't. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanni Garcia. Y gracias por no soplarle o realmente quizás no sabía. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Una de dos. Melissa. Wait, ¿con quién no he hablado hoy? Who have... Ana Yancy, are you there? Hmm. Roxana, are you there? Yes. Roxanne. You don't have to put on the red light. Do you know that song, Roxanne? Mm, no, I don't know. It's from the police. Escucha las buenas. Roxanne. Okay. It's a very good song. Okay, Roxanne, listen. No, I can't swim. What is the question, Roxana? Can you swim? All right, that was easy. Excellent. <laughs> that was easy, but it was good, very good. Y más porque sí, sé que estaba fácil, pero respondió rápido. So that was good. All right. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. No Evelyn, so. Oops, que estoy escribiendo. Oh, 
So, Evelyn, yes, I will marry you. What is the question? Will you marry me? Excuse me, Evelyn, what? Will you marry me? Um, Evelyn, I'm sorry, I unmarried. But I'll thank you anyway, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I unmarried. And Evelyn, you have a boyfriend, respect. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but very good. <laughs> Very good. That is the grabado y sobornado. La hubiera sobornado su novio. Hey, look at your girlfriend. Me pidió matrimonio. No. But yes, that's the question. Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. Or no, I won't marry you. Okay. Very good. Okay, then, class, I thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the Monday. I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, okay? Okay. okay. I, will, yeah. I will see you tomorrow. Compromise. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye -bye. Happy Bye -bye. week. Thank you. You too. Thank you.